I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I got a lot, a lot, a lot of requests for a hair video. Um, so my hair is not styled or anything right now. This is how I wake up in the morning. Also, welcome to my bedroom floor. I thought it would be good to have a little change of scenery, right? I figured that I would take you guys through kind of how I go about styling my hair each day and what I kind of do with it. I think a lot of you wanna know how my hair is so thick or so full and everything like that. And I do have to say that I do have naturally pretty thick hair, but in my next video, I am gonna talk about some of the things that I do do for like keeping my hair full and moisturized and you know, some of the things that I do. Some of them are weird, but yeah, I have so much hair and I've tried so many things throughout the years and gotten so many different pieces of advice as to what to do with it. But anyway, so this is my natural texture when I wake up in the morning. As you can see, it's sort of a frizzy wave. That's what's going on here. Yeah, it's just frizzy and poofy and <laughs> I mean, I wear it like this a lot too, but anyway, so I went to bed last night with my hair wet. I do not know if that is a bad thing. If it is, please don't judge me. I just like going to bed with my hair wet because I feel like it's curlier when I wake up in the morning as opposed to when I let it air dry. That's me. I washed my hair and sh shampooed and conditioned my hair with this um, Leon Gordman Irish Organic Seaweed. I'm getting a hair off of it. Um, I talked about this in one of my other videos, so I shampooed with this, and I'll link everything below, and conditioned with this. Um, and then after that, I put in this Eels Formula Finishing Serum. So while my hair was wet, I put this in, and I just kind of like comb it through the ends. And the reason why I do that is I feel like then when I wake up in the morning, my hair is a little bit less um, like frizzy. It just makes it a little more tamed. Yeah, so. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my hair before I do anything to it, this Salty Dog Spray by Evo. The reason why I like this is it's almost like a texture spray. Like I've tried a lot of those like beachy wave type sprays, but the issue with those I think is my hair gets sort of crunchy and I really don't like that. This just gives like a tiny bit of texture and like the tiniest bit of hold. Um, not even hold, like I wouldn't even call it that. It smells really good. Kenna, my friend who is in one of my other videos, always uses this on me at work. And I just kind of like, I just love it. Cool. So that, <laughs> but I'll show you what I do for styling. So what I like for my hair, and it's kind of already naturally doing this right now and I don't understand why, because usually it's way more of like a poof, but I like to have like sort of straightness on the ends and sort of flatness on the top and sort of have it frame my face. That's sort of the look I always go for. Not totally sure if I always achieve that, but that's what I try to do. But I, I don't wanna take away the fullness, you know what I mean? So this is what I do. So I'll straighten the ends a little bit and I kind of am holding it like this because I don't wanna actually tug on my hair in case it like makes it any flatter or anything like that. Cause I wanna keep the fullness here, um, but I feel like straightening my ends a tiny bit, I'm kind of just like clamping it, just makes it look a, just a touch bit, refi not refined, but done I guess, or mm, I don't know, just not as crazy, because I don't like when my ends are like all flipping in different directions, but that's just me personally. So that's like kind of what I usually do first. Then I go in towards my face. So if you see here, I kind of have these like kind of crazy bits and short frizzy bits going on here. So what I usually do is I part my hair down the center in no perfect way at all. And then I straighten them, not all the way to the end, just kind of at my root because again, I want this to look just like a tiny bit done, but also keep the fullness and my natural wave going. So I'm kind of just going in towards the face and I like this because it kind of starts to frame my face and I sort of like pull the hair straightener away so it sort of is, my hairs go outward. And then this bit right here, this wave, I'm just gonna refine this a little bit more and straighten it. 
and I kind of go in also at my part and straighten that but again like I literally only do a tiny bit and I'll kind of do that all the way to the back so there as you can see that kind of makes it just look a little bit flatter on the top There. So then I'll do the other side. I hope I'm making sense. Yeah, like I like it flat on the top, framed at the face, and a little bit straight at the bottom. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing on this side. I'm straightening this front bit just a tiny bit, and I might go in and actually give it a, t a tiny bit of a wave with the hair straightener in one second. Kind of going in towards the back as well. Then I go in on these pieces, these little, um, I don't even know what they are. My hair is steaming because I actually just got out of the shower and like some of these little bits are, are, are wet, but I didn't wash my hair. I just like put it up in a top knot. Yeah, I, I kind of um, straighten these pieces down towards my face because I kind of want to give that effect. If I'm not achieving that, sometimes what I'll do, which I'll show you, is I'll grab this kind of short layer I have here and I will actually take my straightener and pull it backwards. I don't even know how to explain this. So that I actually get like a real wave there. So I clamp it and then turn it and straighten it outwards. Um, and it actually gives like a nice framing of the face, which is really nice. So then I'll do the same thing on the other side, kind of straighten it a little bit. I'm never as good on this side, but again, I'm holding it. I flip the hair straightener. I flip the hair straightener and then I, um, I'm pulling it backwards because I want it to do that. See, that's a good one. Oh, I got a good one on that side. So that's actually kind of it, you guys. So as you can see, it's parted down the center. I like that it's wavy in the middle here and still has a fullness and a little bit more refined on the bottom and a little bit straightened. Sometimes what I like to do is use the sparkling soda shine mist. I think this is actually more for when you are straightening your hair, but I love this because it almost, I it, for me, it's like a defrizz situation. It kind of like makes my pieces stick together better. You don't need a lot because I think if you used a lot of this, it's greasy. And I also, like I said, have very thick hair, so it doesn't happen so often for me. But if you have thin hair, I would like be mindful of using something like this. But yeah, this is the Sparkling Soda Shine Mist from Dry Bar. It also smells really, really good. And I just put it in the ends like that. I'll do a tiny bit on top, just like in case I have flyaways or anything there. I'm gonna go back in on this one because this one's so good. I want this one to be good too. <laughs> sort of. Oh, that side's just not quite as good, <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Also, one thing that I did forget to say is when I do style my hair and I go through this process and when I wake up in the morning, I do not brush my hair. Um, and the reason for that is, and anyone who has curly hair or wavy hair probably knows this, that when I brush my hair, I tend to lose the texture that I, my natural texture and my hair gets super poofy and not good at all. Um, so I actually don't brush my hair that much. I don't know if I recommend that, but, and yeah, I do get knots, but I just feel like when I brush my hair out, I will get, um, 
it just gets poofy and like frizzy and not good. So I just let it be. So I just also wanted to say that in case anyone's like, do you brush it or blow dry it or anything like that? This is how I woke up. I did not brush my hair. I had it in a top knot before I filmed this video because I was working out. So I just wanted to say that as well. Um, anyway, you guys, that's how I do my hair every day. Um, it's not, it literally takes me five to 10 minutes. Like how long have we been here? 10 minutes, but I was yapping half the time. It's super quick and easy for me if you have like a naturally frizzy sort of wave this works for me these products work for me also this is a GHD hair straightener I actually got it recently and it's really good I really like it but anyway that's kind of it yeah I don't really have anything else to say um but my next video what I am going to do is talk to you guys about hair health and what I do to kind of kind of preserve my hair and keep, take how I take care of my hair I don't know why I'm trying to overcomplicate that how I take care of my hair is the next video coming. Thank you for watching. Um, thanks for being here. I can't believe there's already 20,000 of you subscribed. I saw that this weekend. I was at a wedding and I saw that and I was so thrilled and so flattered and so excited. Kyle was like, calm down. I was like, no, this is a huge deal and I'm so excited. Thank you so much to all of you who are here and watching. It means the world to me and I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah, and it's gonna be great. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment if you have any questions, just write them below. I will link the products and everything that I used here. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Okay, come here. I still don't know how to use this.